And another feature that we have is that as a result of the generation of these super wealthy individuals, we have in reality an oligarchy, the rule of the few, a plutocracy, the rule of the wealthy, the rule of money. We've got a picture there of the governor of the Bank of England. He's, he's approaching the end of his term. He's going to be uh, uh, giving up his role, Mark Carney. Mark Carney, uh, uh, Tony Blair, in fact, and Gordon Brown, when they first came to power, one of the very first acts they committed was to give control of macroeconomic policy away. Say, we don't want it. It should be with the market. The capitalists know best. The capitalists must govern production. The capitalists must govern the economy. And they gave this huge um, in, uh, lever of power away to Mark Carney. Mark Carney is not just some independent chap. He sits there, his successor there, he's, he's sitting with uh, um, uh, Rishi Sunak, you can see there. And this government, this government of functionaries, uh, these uh, committee of the Bank of England who decide whether your mortgage is going to be payable or not. Right now, our negative, uh, we have uh, very low interest rates. They decide tomorrow to put them up and up and up. They're not doing so in the face of the impoverishment of the working people. They can't um, do it because they risk mass defaults. But if they decide to, they can turn even more people homeless in a very short period of time. But all of these people ultimately represent the interests of a government of money. And if you want to know really who is in control, if you want to know really who our democracy is responsible for, who pays the lobbyists, who are the people who walk in and out of government and decide which policies can and can't go, which wars will or won't be fought, uh, which people will do well, which people will be oppressed and pressed upon by our system of taxation, or which jobs will be present and which won't. You have to look no further really uh, than the Forbes rich list.